Guns is my right. Guns here in the United States, if the kids are trained young enough and properly enough to use weapons, is a benefit. Problem is, they banned them from all kids. I was trained when I was seven, eight years old on guns. Now, they have to wait until they're 18. At 18, they've gotten into drugs and watch that stupid television, uh, internet, and all the violence on it. So when they get a gun now, what do they think they're gonna use the gun for? Violence. And it's not the guns, it's the kids. Well, America's gun problem is not getting any better, but what is so interesting is how conservatives are trying to twist the reality of the situation by claiming gun owners are the victims, not the people who get shot. This absurd line of thinking led to Donald Stifler, the good liar, speaking publicly at the 2023 NRA convention. And he showed how absurd the conservative victimhood claim really sounds. Even better, he did it in front of NRA leadership, including CEO Wayne LaPierre. <laughs> Uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak. Thank you, sir. Uh, I want to thank the NRA and in particular Mr. LaPierre for standing strong in the face of the constant assaults on gun owners by the gun control nuts. We the gun owners are the victims. After every mass shooting, we live in fear. When will it happen again? They say that this country has over 400 million guns, more than any country in the world, and they say that's why there are more mass shootings than anywhere else in the world. But that's just coincidence. You know that famous saying, there are coincidences. Without the protection of the NRA, we would be left for dead. I mean, not, you know, literally, but you know, you know what I mean, right? I worry that uh, one day, my children might be the victims of not having as many guns as they want. So in closing, I wanna say thank you to Mr. LaPierre and the NRA for providing gun owners this safe space where we can say to the world that gun owners are the real victims. Thank you, Mr. LaPierre. Thank you to the NRA. Gun owners are the victims. The video clip ends here, but you have to wonder if the people at the convention, including Wayne LaPierre, even realized they were being mocked. Or are the NRA diehards so far gone with their ridiculous beliefs that they bought it hook, line, and sinker? When it comes to the harmful gun narrative pushed by Republican politicians, there appears to be no end in sight. Recently, Florida Representative Byron Donalds had this exchange with CNN's Jake Tapper. You voted when you were in the Florida legislature against red flag laws or risk protection orders. Uh, that was in the wake of the Parkland school shooting um, that was passed by the Republican-led legislature and signed by Republican Governor then Rick Scott. Um, CNN's Leila Santiago, our reporter in Miami, she interviewed uh, the Polk County Sheriff last year, a, a conservative Second Amendment guy. I want you to listen to what the sheriff had to say. Listen, I'm a strong Second Amendment guy. I'm a conservative. I believe risk protection orders work. He said they work. We saw, we, Layla went into the courtroom and we, we saw individuals who had guns taken away from them to, on a temporary basis from the judge because they were in a time of distress. This conservative sheriff says that law saves lives. Look, Grady Judge is a great sheriff in our state, but on the implication about protecting constitutional rights, that's where he and I disagree. Like I said, if there is a process upon which People have to go and adjudicate their mental health first before their property is taken, taken away from them. That's one thing, but that's not what risk protection orders do. Risk protection orders take away your property and then you have to go to court to get your property back. That is a fundamental taking under the United States Constitution. That's why I believe that the actual taking of property is unconstitutional, but that's something where even conservatives dis disagree. That's no disrespect to Grady Judge. That's my position and that's my way of looking at the U.S. Constitution. I understand your, your, your point, but what about the constitutional rights of those three nine-year-olds at Covenant School uh, in Nashville or the three faculty and staff members or the uh, six individuals uh, killed, or I'm sorry, five individuals killed uh, at the Louisville Bank. They have a constitutional right to, to life. Uh, and you, I understand your concern about the Second Amendment rights of an individual, uh, but do, don't those rights matter less than the individual right to live and not be gunned down in their school? Well, actually, Jake, and I think you're conflating 
life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness is in the Declaration of Independence, not the United States Constitution. We all want to protect life at all times. But that doesn't mean you get to abridge rights of American citizens. You don't get to do that. By dismissing the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and noting it was in the Declaration of Independence, not the Constitution, Republican Representative Donalds is making a big reveal here. He's revealing that in his mind, property rights are more important than the core values of human life and existence. And putting a greater value on property rights is jarring. But that's where the right wing in America stands. These self-proclaimed conservatives are obsessed with a material object, a firearm, that is intended for violence. And these conservatives are willing to give up true safety and security for their brainwashed version of safety and security. And let's be clear, owning, holding, and firing a gun does not make our community safer. Not having shots fired is what is safer. Keeping people alive should be the goal. Unfortunately, having a firearm under any circumstance is the goal of the far right. And in the end, this deranged obsession with protecting guns instead of protecting people makes all of us more at risk. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section. And by the way, some of the most ardent NRA members also support Donald Trump, and these MAGA faithful don't seem to care how stupid they sound. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.